Okay, here we are at the Google Analytics Query Explorer interface. This is essentially a gateway to the API. You can request anything you want from the API and download it directly to a TSV if you like. You don't even have to import it to Google Docs and use a magic script. So what you haven't seen is me authorizing my account just by the top right here. And I've already pre-selected my personal blog as uh, the site we want to request for, request information for. And you'll notice that the ID's parameter is already populated once you select the account and the profile. What we're going to do here is a simple uh, query. All we want is landing pages that are filtered through organic and we're going to use visits as a metric. First thing I want to do is click on dimensions and I'm going to go right down to the bottom here and the landing page is actually called landing page path. My metric is going to be visits, right? You can see on the right hand side of this little table that Google actually gives you some help in selecting what you need and it's also got a lot of support documentation if you get lost. Now I'm going to do this and show you what happens. If I constructed a valid query I will get results back and as you can see it's a little bit out of whack so it's not really in order. What we want to do is probably filter the visits by descending order. Now in order to do that it's minus symbol GA colon visits. And I'm going to go ahead and get data and just to show you what happens. Great. So we've got our top page with the most visits there. Uh, so another thing we want to do is we want to filter it so it's only organic. You'll get the hang of this, don't worry, and some code examples will be included in the blog post. So to do that, I'm going to go GA colon medium equals equals organic, and I'm going to get my data. And you'll notice that the numbers have changed, everything has worked properly and I've returned the results. Now it's back to the Google Magic Script that you have a decent handle on this. I really suggest you take a look at all the different parameters that you could potentially use and play around with it. Remember, this is much more powerful than the interface because you can use up to seven dimensions and about 10 metrics. Big caveat here, sometimes session level metrics shouldn't be combined with page level metrics because they just won't make sense. That's gonna be up to you to figure out.